Hi all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And this show is the first one of the danceplanet.tv weekly Premier League show where I'm going to be discussing with you guys, the fans, each week. Now, um, the actual Premier League starts um, this Thursday, February the 1st from 7pm. And I have got one of the subscribers on, so it is Blake. So hi Blake, how are you? I'm alright, thank you Gav. Thanks for joining in the show today to talk the Premier League. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am, yeah. I think it should be good fun. Excellent. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, so my name's Blake. I'm 14. Um, I just basically love darts. So I started playing years ago, on and off. And um, pretty much I just came across it one day because my parents played um, like obviously in a pub and then there was a tournament one day went down there started watching it and then from then I was you was hooked just playing dart you was hooked it's a great yeah, game isn't it it's a there, great yeah. sport great sport it really is so obviously um you know, what I want to do is, in this video, um, we're going to talk through it. Obviously, we've got a few um, players in it, like Suljevic, Gurney, Cross, Gerwin, Price. They're all going to be making their debuts in the Premier League. I thought what would be really good is if we preview each match, you can give me your prediction and what you think to some of the players. So, the opening night's game, um, we see Mencius Suljevic against Simon Whitlock. Um, Mencius Suljevic, obviously, winning the Champions League um, earlier on in the year. Um, form dipped a little bit, but had a good win in the Unibet Masters last night against Michael Smith 10-8 he's up against the Wizard Whitlock what are your thoughts on this game and what do you think about Mencius Sulevic making his debut in the Premier League well I think Mencius Sulevic is very deserved to make his debut in the Premier League this year to be honest before the tournament um, players got announced I was um, rather surprised seeing Whitlock in there actually yeah I, I was he's still, he's still number 8 in the world but I think he um, last year didn't play to the best of his game and I think Solovic had a good year last year as you said winning yeah. the Champions League and he got to I think it was the quarter final of the Grand Slam yeah. but he had a disappointing world as did Whitlock I think did they both go out in the second round yeah, I think so. I think Mencius Suljevic said at the start, for some reason, I don't know whether it's the Ali Pali or what it is, he, he says that he never for some reason likes the Worlds or seemed to do um, very well in it. I think a lot of people, to be honest with you, was shocked with Whitlock actually getting selected in the first places. I think there was a lot of other players that um, could easily have been put in um, before Whitlock. But if I'm being honest, I think he's going to really struggle in the Premier League this year. And I think he'll probably be going out on judgment night, if I'm being honest. Yes, uh, I think um, yeah, I think he will struggle. There's a lot of good players in there this year, in good form as well. Yeah. So obviously we'll get onto that later. But um, yeah, I think Whitlock might struggle this year in the Premier League. Yeah, I think he will definitely. So um, for your prediction for this match, who are you going to go for? What is going to? What is your prediction for this one between Sully Rich and um, Whitlock? I reckon Solovich is going to take this one seven four. Oh, no way. That's exactly what I've got here in front of me. I am going for Solovic to beat Whitlock in the um, opening night 7-4. Um, next up, we've got the Flying Scotsman Gary Anderson against Bully Boy Michael Smith. Bully Boy obviously had a disappointing... Well, it wasn't a disappointing world. He played awesome in the Worlds. Um, I think the, the Premier League affected him really badly uh, a few years back and knocked his confidence, although I think he's coming good now. Um, obviously went out last night to Solovic and Unibet Masters, but... I think it's going to be really, really up for the Premier League. Um, but a really tough game with Gary Anderson in the opening one. What are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, I think Mark Smith might be a bit um, shaken after the result last night. I yeah. mean, he was 5 0 down, but was averaging over 102. So he was yeah. playing very well. Um, managed to crawl it back um, to 8 8, of course, for losing 10 8. Uh, um, but I think Gary Anderson is going to look too good for him, to be honest. He's obviously yet to play in the Masters, but if he gets past the first round, I think his confidence will be up, especially if he gets to the final, yeah. like he did last year. So I think Anderson will take this one 
I think if Smith plays well, I think it could be close. I'm say seven five. This is no word of a lie. I have got Gary Anderson seven, Michael Smith five in front of us. Exactly what I thought. I think that Anderson's going to have the edge. He seems to like the Premier League. Um, it, it, it's just a tournament that he does well in. Obviously won it before. He's gonna, I've gone seven five as well. Next up, we've got Daryl Gurney super chin against Raymond Van Barneveld. Uh, Daryl Gurney, obviously another debut uh, in the Premier League for him. Um, I did yeah. like him. I like him a bit less since all the Whitlock incident when he had seemed to have some sort of attitude problem. I don't quite know what went on there. Um, yeah. I think he's going to be good for the Premier League. But what is your thoughts on this match, Blake? Well, I think Barney's got the experience. Um, he's been in it um, uh, 11 years on the bounce or whatever it is. Yeah. So I think he's going to have the Premier League experience, whereas Gurney, not so much, even though he has been in the PDC. Yeah. Doing well last year. He won the Grand Prix. Um, but... A disappointing worlds again. I think uh, knocked out in round two as well. Whereas Barney got to the last sixteen. Yeah, definitely. And then he was unlucky to lose to MVG. So, but. He played well know, last night as well, be, didn't he? It's going to be a hard one. He played well last think, night in the, in the Unibet Masters, didn't he, against um, Chisnell, especially with Chisnell coming yeah, back Barney at him. Chisnell it. hitting a 106 average, but Barney's still seeing it out to go through um, in the decider 10-9. What are your thoughts on? What is your prediction on this one? Surely we're not going to have three the same here, Blake. I'm going to say Barney to win 7-4. I've got Barney to win 7-5, so we're slightly different on that one, but the same prediction. Next up, we've got the most anticipated match coming. We've got MVG um, against Rob Cross. The two are at Loggerhorns at the moment. I don't think Cross worries about who is playing. Michael Van Gerwen knows that. It's going to be a thriller, I think. What are your thoughts on this one for, for the opening night well, of the Premier League? Obviously, they're both flying. Yeah. Um, so, Mark Van Gogh and Rob Cross semi-final in the world was just unbelievable. But watching Rob Cross last night, yeah. he was... He's an animal, he isn't he? Absolutely unbelievable. He is. Against uh, the Diamond. Um, so, I think the easy way to say this would be 6-6, six, six, but I think Rob Cross is going to edge it 7-5. Well, do you know what I have gone for a six-all draw? I was going to put Rob Cross to win, um, like like what you just said, but I've actually gone for a draw now. I think that they're both going to battle it out, um, and I think, like I say, they're at locker horns, and they're going to come out with a six-all draw. I can't wait for that one. Um, I think the easiest way to predict about that is just sit on the fence. Yeah, they're both so good. It's going to be epic. Um, you I'll, can't predict who's going to win. I just think Rob. I just. I just think Rob Cross has got this swagger about him. He's not big-headed. He's just confident in his ability. He plays the dartboard. He doesn't care who's who he's up against or whatever. He knows if he plays his game. A bit like Van Gerwen. If he plays his game, he can beat anybody in the world. I think it's going to be a yeah. great rivalry over the next five or six years, and I can't wait. But at the end of the night, the final game um, that we've got coming up on that night is my favourite dart player, Peter Snakebite Wright. He's got the um, Iceman Gerwin Price. Again, Again, another debut for Price. Looking forward to this one. I'm hoping that Wright's going to have a really good Premier League. What are your thoughts on this game? Well, I think this is going to be a good game as well. I mean, I know you said in your um, video with the preview for the Premier League, you didn't think Price would get in. I didn't. Um, but I thought he had a good year after I analysed it a bit. And he obviously he, he lost to Peter Wright in the final of the UK Open. Yeah. Uh, he also, um, with Wales, Mark Webster reached the final of the World Cup of Darts as well. Yeah. But no tournament wins last year. Um, so I think it could be a good game. I'm going to say Peter Wright, after a good year last year, to win 7-4. <laughs> I've got Peter Wright to beat Gerwin Price 7-4. It's unbelievable. We've, we've pretty much gone for the same prediction right away. Well, we have, haven't we? We've got just uh, the difference with the... I've gone for the draw with Gerwin and Cross, and uh, whereas you went 7-5 to Cross, and Daryl Gurney Van Barney's just slightly... But apart from that, we're pretty much... You know, very similar on our predictions for this. Is there, yeah. um, is there anybody, uh, just before we wrap the show up and different things, is there anybody that isn't in the Premier League that you would have liked to have seen or that you really feel should have got in before uh, Whitlock or Gerwin Price? Well, I think um, there's a few, really. Kyle Anderson yep. had a good year. That's who I wanted um, Joe Cullen, I was... I was very surprised with he was went into the world as the 19th seed, but um, he just 
let himself down at the Worlds, really. I think uh, he I has, think yeah. I think he may have been in there. I think Joe um, Cullen's one of them players that's never really, really performed on the big stage, is he? A lot of people say he's amazing no. on the floor, but, you know, I've not seen a Joe... It's a bit like Jamie Lewis. Jamie Lewis is like... When I was speaking to Mace the other day, I was like, you know, I can't believe that Jamie Lewis plays like that, but these guys get to see him on the floor, and he's like... Do you know what? They, they do. A lot of them can play like it. It's whether they can ever bring their game and show us on the telly that they can. So we can only ever judge from what a lot of us see on the TV, can't we? Yeah. And um, another one's Darren Webster, actually. I thought yep. he played very well at Worlds. Yeah, he's um, good. I think he won a Players' Championship event um, in 2017. So I thought he might be pushing maybe next year then if he has another good year he's from local uh, to me I, as well i was impressed with how he played the world <laughs> yeah he's, he's good he's, he's, a, he's a funny character and he? he's full of life he's um he's from not far from where i am he's just from norfolk uh, uh about 20 miles from where i am um, yeah. I thought Dimitri van der Berg might have got in but obviously with his age and different things the Premier League's ruined so many players I think it was the right decision like I said I would have liked to have seen Carl Anderson in I, I think it's going to be yeah. a really really great opening um, night like I say it is guys for those of you um, who are looking to watch it it is on Thursday February the 1st it's from 7pm it's from the Free Arena in Dublin so don't miss it it's going to be awesome um, I hope that you've enjoyed being on the show and chatting the Premier League with me today, Blake. It's been a pleasure having you. It's been a pleasure being on the show, thanks. You're so welcome. Now listen guys, what I want to do is I am going to be putting Blake's details here, so please do have a look, um, because he's starting up his own darts channel. As you can see, he's got all his stats, he's very enthusiastic, and I'm sure one day when he's rich and famous, I'll be hopefully be featured on his show so please do check his channel out um for everybody else thank you for watching this show remember that this is a show that's going to be going out every tuesday night each week i'm looking for a guest to come on just like blake has today to chat about the premier league uh, preview for that week so if you are interested guys please leave a comment below and get in touch as always, if you've liked the video, please do leave me a like, turn on your notifications and don't forget to subscribe. And for those of you that haven't joined DartsPlanet.tv yet, please do check it out. That's all for me, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.